Israel, land of the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran. It's also one of the most dangerous places on earth. Here, terrorism is more than just a threat. Every year, Israelis are killed by guerrillas, assassins, and suicide bombers. And this war-torn country has given birth to one of the deadliest hand-to-hand -hand combat systems in the world, Krav Maga. We're here to learn the secrets of this devastating fighting style. Then put our knowledge to the test in a brutal confrontation at a commando base so secret that no Americans have ever filmed there before. Surrounded by Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Egypt, this strip of land has seen plenty of conflict in the last 3,000 years. From the pharaohs of ancient Egypt to the Crusaders, from the Roman Empire to the British Empire, virtually every major civilization has fought to control this territory. Today, each of its seven million citizens must serve for at least two years in the Israeli army. And they all learn Krav Maga. Literally meaning close combat. Krav Maga is a general term that encompasses many Israeli fighting styles. The term includes everything from basic self-defense moves to advanced special forces techniques. Krav Maga relies on moves from many different martial arts. It combines strikes and blocks from Muay Thai and Karate, throws from Judo, and disarms and grappling from Jiu Jitsu. In Krav Maga, there is no ring, no points, and no rules. Victory isn't about a title or a belt or money. It's about survival. The basic techniques of Krav Maga were created by boxer and wrestler Emi Lichtenfeld in the 1930s. Lichtenfeld grew up in Czechoslovakia and watched as gangs of Nazis beat up and harassed Jews. He realized that boxing and wrestling weren't enough to defend against a gang of thugs on the street. So he began creating a new form of self-defense that drew from the most effective techniques of all the martial arts, from boxing to judo. In 1940, as the Nazis prepared to invade, Lichtenfeld fled to what was then called Palestine. He began working and training with Jewish settlers who had formed a militia called the Palmach. When the state of Israel was created in 1948, the Palmach became the core of the new army called the Israel Defense Forces. And Krav Maga became the core of its hand-to-hand -hand combat training. Today, the basic techniques are taught to every new recruit in the IDF. And now it's our turn.